Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to attach a custom domain name to a CloudFront distribution with API Gateway in AWS. Let's start by searching for Lambda on the AWS console, then hit Create Function. Give your function a name, select a runtime, then click on Create Function. Scroll down to the code source section, then hit the test button. Give your test event a name, hit save, then click on test again to test your Lambda function. Go back to the AWS console and this time search for API Gateway. Click on create API, then build in the HTTP API section. Give your API a name, then select Lambda from the integrations dropdown. Select the Lambda function that we just created, then hit next. I'm going to select the get method and leave everything else to default. Click on the invoke URL and add the resource path at the end of it. Looks like our Lambda function is being invoked as expected. Navigate to the AWS console and search for CloudFront. Click on create distribution, then copy paste the invoke URL to the origin domain text box. I'm going to select HTTPS for protocol and TLS 1.2 for SSL. Scroll down to the alternate domain name section, then click on add item. Enter your custom domain name, then click on request certificate. Enter a fully qualified domain name, select DNS validation, then hit request. Click on view certificate, then create records in route 53. Push the create records button, then navigate to the AWS console and search for route 53. Click on hosted zones, domain name, then confirm that you see a new CNAME record. Go back to the certificate manager window and wait for the status to change to success. Now go back to the CloudFront window and hit the refresh button. Select the ACM certificate that we just created, then hit the create distribution button. Wait few minutes for the deploying message to go away, then navigate to the Route 53 window. Inside hosted zones, click on your domain name, then click on create record. For routing policy, I'm going to select simple routing, then click on define simple record. Enter your subdomain and leave the record type to A. From the endpoint dropdown, select alias to CloudFront distribution and your new CloudFront distribution should automatically pop up. Click on define simple record, then hit create records. Push the view status button to check the status of your change. Wait until the status changes to in sync. Now we are ready to test our CloudFront distribution URL. Just make sure to add the resource path at the end. You can also use the custom domain that we just created to access this CloudFront distribution. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.